Set Your Voice Free, How to Get the Singing or Speaking Voice You Want by Roger Love. Now, the author's a voice coach to the stars. We're not talking about some stars, we're talking about mega stars. Michael Jackson, may he rest in peace. Tony Robbins, these are the calibre. First starts off by mentioning you get the three types of breathing. Chest, middle and head. Now, it tends to be if you're breathing with the chest, the diaphragmatic breathing. If you want to do this, you can visualise a balloon inflating just below your sternum. And then just let the balloon go out. You'd say that quite often people, singers in particular, try and force the air out the chest and that puts damage in the vocal cords. Tends to be if you're doing higher talking, you're more in the head. Now if you actually want to tilt your head back, you can achieve even higher notes. Really in, puts the importance of trial and error throughout this book and encourages people to keep trying. Outlines that singers actually damage their voice often when speaking and this can be problematic so Michael Jackson for example would when he came and saw him he spoke to him in a very kind of soft voice and that was putting more strain on his vocal cords in particular now we're all wearing masks that's what prompted me to read this book because I want to be able to do diaphragmatic talking without straining the vocal cords if you're singing, I'm going to spare you my singing. I'm not a singer yet. Don't plan on developing this skill. Um, they should really find their middle so they can effortlessly go from different notes up and down. I really like the nice improvement themes that were throughout. So, for example, for singers, you should keep writing your own songs. Keep trying, aim for improvement, not perfection. Interestingly, when you think about the tone of voice, if somebody has a much higher voice, they may appear seductive, but yet timid. Whereas a, a lower voice, you may appear authoritative, but more direct. Now, he mentions about this, don't do symmetrical hand motions. To me, it reminds me of the old Prime Minister Tony Blair, but it makes it appear as if you're staged. When you're smiling, that actually can put more strain on your vocal cords, so he suggests to smile and open your mouth more. You look even happier. Eye movements optional, not mentioned in the book. So really, just enjoy experimenting with different sounds. Often it may be if you're trying a new voice, the way to do it is to speak to strangers with that who don't know you. And then you can see from what they say, how it worked out. People tend to think they're suffering from a thing called the spotlight effect, where they assume people are looking at them more than they actually are. So with this, you think you're putting loads of emphasis on something, but you're actually not, and it's hardly noticeable. But it's great to get the support of your friends and family. So ideally, just tell them you're experimenting with some new things, so hopefully they'll be supportive. Hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you all next time.